Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and stat. Today we will discuss about the CDF and its property. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. So related to this today's lecture and the forward, we will describe the three lecture series on this CDF. The first lecture is on the properties as well as the definition of the CDF. And then it will be followed by the how to write the CDF and this probability. So right now we can start with this lecture number one. If you have the if you have any of the random variable x, then a function capital F is said to be a distribution function if it is defined like of here. The most important thing in in this definition you have to remember that it should be less than and equality sign. For example, if I say probability of x less than equal to three. Now since it is a less than as well as equality sign both, I can write this number as f of three. On the other hand, if I say how you can write this number is in terms of the distribution function, here you can see it's a greater than. So our first target is to make them to be the less than or equality. I can write this number as of this form. Now since this number is less than as well as equality, so I can write this number as f of three. Also, what will happen if you can see here? So since you can see this number is strictly less than, but we need equality also. So I can write this number as three minus. What is the meaning of this minus is? That is any of the numbers in the given uh, random variable which are just less than of the three. For example, if I say X is my here, the corresponding probabilities, then this number is what is the less than of the three is zero. So I can write this as F of zero and so on. Based on this definition of this uh, distribution function, this is also called as the cumulative distribution function. And here, this x is called as the random variable. Now here, this is a function. So every function has some domain as well as the range. So this is my domain and this is my range. So what is the domain of this distribution function? It's a complete real line. And the range is my 0, 0,1. Based on this random variable, that's either the discrete or continuous, we will define the two kinds of the distribution functions, continuous and discrete. One is said to be the discrete. If you have some random variable xi such that the PMF is one, then you can define this probability is nothing but the summation of this. It is nothing but like say cumulative distribution function or the cumulative frequency. On the other hand, how you can find the Continuous, we all know that how you define the probability in this case. This is nothing but the integration of f of x. Here you can see the upper limit is my x and the lower limit is my minus infinity like of here. Now the first property of this cumulative distribution function is if you have the two real numbers a and b, then the probability is lies here. The important thing you should remember in this case, wherever is a less than sign, it must be include the equality. You can see here. Since this is a greater than sign because here is x greater than a. So I don't want the equality to be here. The proof is very simple. If you look about the graphically here, this is the meaning of this. So what is that? This is a. What is the meaning of this is? This is like here a to x this. And what is that? This is from a to a. You can see both are my disjoints. And once they are disjoint, what will be the union of this? The union is my complete x minus x less than equal to b. Now take the probability on the both sides since it is a disjoint. So the probability is my sum of them. What is that? This is nothing but my f of a. What is that? This is nothing but my f of b. So you can simplify them. You will get the required results. Out. Based on this result, you can easily verify these various property. If you closely look about these uh, three are there, how you distinguish between them? There are difference between their equalities. Now here you can see the first part. This is x is greater than or equal to a. But we always need the CDF to be the less than or equal to. So how I can write that? I can decompose this into the two different parts. One is the x is a separately. Other is my here. Now what is that? This is now since both are disjoint. So I can write like of this way. So this value is nothing but this is a formula. Again, in this case, have you think about that since this is strictly less than sign. So I want to add one B and similarly, I can subtract one B from here. That's the meaning of this. So I can write like here again. What is that? This is nothing but F of upper limit minus F of lower limit. What is that? In this case, I need the equality to be here. So I can add one B and I can subtract one B from here. 
also i don't want to be the equality here so i can separate this a to be this one so i can write like of this way so again this part is nothing but fb minus fa these are the results so from this slide you what you conclude that there are the various formulas about that but when you can see or all, all you, should, you can see there is a there is a probability at the equality points so first remark for you whenever you have the continuous random variable we all know that the probability at a single point is always be zero so it means this value is zero this value is zero this value is zero and here so it means all values are equal when it has a continuous random variable what is the meaning of this means if it is here then they have whenever x is my continuous if i say this is my continuous random variable then equality doesn't matter so it means the probability of x less than 3 is same as that of less than equal to 3 second properties are there the distribution functions are always lies between 0 and 1 and it is a monotonically non decreasing the proof is very simple as we can see start from the definition of this cdf what is the definition of here the what is that this is nothing but my probability and we all know that the probability lies between 0 and 1 so once this value is nothing but my f of a is the required proof again you can see what is that uh, if you take on the two points x and y say this is my x which is less than of the y so what is that portion what is this portion is which is less than equal to x what is this portion is there this is less than equal to y so definitely this portion is less than of this less than equal to y so here now since we all know that whenever a is less than a is the subset of b then the probability of a is always be less than of the probability of b so or probability of less than equal to b are there so we can write like this way what is that this is f of x is less than equal to f of y so whenever x is less than y f of x is always less than here it's a here otherwise the second proof are also be there we can apply the definition of the cdf now what is the meaning of the increasing how you prove that if i take the derivative of this now the, what is that this is my pdf we all know that pdf is always be greater than or equal to zero so what is that derivative is greater than zero what is the meaning of that it's a increasing function look at the another property f is always be the right continuous that's the meaning of here if you look about this how you can prove that you can see there is a definition of the cdf there is a definition of the cdf so firstly i can write these two definitions are there like of this f of x plus h is nothing but here and f of x is this what is your target is your target is to prove whenever h approaches zero here so that's again very simple you can see x if you look about that this is my x and this is my x plus h clearly says that if i consider this a and b are the my two events then definitely a is a subset of b once a is the subset of b then probability of a is less than of the probability of b now we can start with the left hand side from here f of x plus h minus f of x so if you look about that this is x this is x plus h so this value is here and this value is my here so what is that this is my p of b this is my p of a that is of here so what is that the, if you subtract them you will get this is the open interval and this is my close interval so that is f of b minus a is nothing but here now finally you can take h approaches 0 what will happen if h approaches 0 this part means x strictly less than of so nothing is involving in between them so that's a phi so what is the phi of that probability of phi is 0 so therefore x plus 0 is nothing but f of x is there. Another property is f of minus infinity is always be 0, f of plus infinity is always be a 1. Again, the proof is very simple. You can see if I define the sequence, what is the f of infinity? If you look about the definition of this, what is the f of x? Probability x less than equal to small x. So when it's say infinity, minus infinity, it means this value is the negative sign. So I consider the event here. So that is whenever n is 1, so this value is my minus 1, this line and so on. So clearly says that this is the subset of this, this is the subset of this. So it means it's a non-increasing sequence. So again, you can see A is the subset of B, the probability is you can write like here. We can start with the definition of this. So what is the probability of 
f infinity is nothing but my here because what is a p of a n p of a n is nothing but probability of here so when n is infinity so that n is infinity it will be my minus infinity that is my f of here so i can write as a limit so whenever a n is is a superset of the a n plus 1 so i can write this as a limit of here now by using the measure theory you can easily write this as intersection of the a n you can see how you can write this a3 this is the intersection of the a1 a2 and a3 and similarly so on what is the intersection of the a i is from here you can see what is the intersection of the a i is nothing but my phi so clearly say that it's my zero so phi of f of minus infinity is zero on the other hand when you take about the f of infinity since is a plus of infinity so i can define like here clearly says that this is nothing but my increasing sequence so we can define like of again by using the similar manner what is a b of n b of n is since it is a non decreasing so it is nothing but my union so what is a union of the b n union if you look at the graphically this is my 1 this is my 2 this is my 3 so what is a union of that this a complete space so complete space is my sample space so it's my 1 so any of the function f is said to be the distribution function of the cdf when these three properties are satisfied that is a non increasing right continuous and the zero and one are there. so this as we can see it's a right continuous so what is the first remark for you the distribution function need not be the left continuous why you can see when the function is said to be the continuous when continuous at a point say x is equal to a it means whenever the left limit is same as that of the right limit and same as that of the function so this is a right continuous so the function is not the left continuous you can see the example if you have considered the random variable represents the number of the heads in a single tossing so when you toss a single then the outcomes are my 0 comma 1 represent for the head the corresponding probability is my half and half then we can define the cdf of this so since it is a continuous or discrete we can write this x is because what is the domain of the cdf domain is my real lines so that's from minus infinity to plus infinity so i can define the number as since it's a zero less than zero zero to one and so on since it is a discrete random variable so you can write the cdf as nothing but the cumulative frequency or cumulative probability first number is half this plus this is nothing but my 1 so i can write this corresponding number is 0 for the x less than 0 whenever it is a 0 it's left con right continuous and then so on now clearly see that this fun these three properties are satisfied it's non increasing right continuous as well as here can it be left continuous so if you draw the graph of this you can see the values are here clearly says that what is the value of the limit one x approaches 1 minus so 1 minus is my half what is the limit of the x one positive so one positive is my one so you can see it is not a left continuous also f of one is my one so clearly says that it is not a left continuous similarly you can prove that for the when you toss it two times the outcomes are my this four and the corresponding number of the heads are my 0 1 and 2 the corresponding probability is my 1 by 4 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 can you define the cdf of this so in this case you can see it's a zero it's a less than zero then zero to one one to two and then two to infinity so what is that it is nothing but by 1 by 4 1 by 4 plus it's a 3 by 4 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1 so the first value is always be zero last value is always be one so this is 1 by 4 3 by 4 and 1 clearly say that it's a right continuous why because you can see the breaking point is say 0 what is that 0 positive f of x uh, capital f x is my capital f of 0 you can also see the limit x approaches 1 positive capital f x is nothing but f of 1 but it is again clearly sees that it is not be a left continuous from the graphical r So now the next result will provide you the condition under which this distribution function that is a CDF will be also continuous from the left side. So this is the condition about that. When it, what is the meaning of this is this is the limit of here or you can say this is x approaches zero minus of this. That's a meaning same meaning are there. 
so if this condition that is the difference of them is nothing but the probability at a point then you can say it's a left continuous proof is again very simple we can start with the definition of the f of x minus h and we can start with the two events are there clearly says that a is a subset of b we can start with the left hand side f of x minus x minus h what is that this is x this is x minus h so this is my a event this is my b event so what is that p of b so this is the probability of b minus probability of a so what is that this is equality so that's an open interval of this close interval of this object open interval of this and close interval of this so what is that when you take limit as h approaches zero so what is that this is nothing but my x r so that's required proof of this so this result as i discussed this result can also be written in a general form at is any point b that is the probability at x is equal to b f of b minus the limit as b of negative the necessary and the sufficient conditions for distribution function to be the continuous that is a when you can say the cdf to be a continuous as we know that if i say this is a capital f of f for a continuous function we all knows that the limit x approaches say a minus of c left limit limit of the right limit and the limits is the same so since we are talking about the necessary and the sufficient condition for the distribution function that is a capital f, f so when this property will be hold so but we all knows that by the definition of the cdf it is always be the right continuous that's true always so since it's a distribution function so it is always be the right continuous so we only prove that it's a left continuous as we discussed in the last example last case f is a continuous if and only if it is a left continuous as well so what is the when the is left continuous so by the definition of this result when is a left continuous when this property holds so when this property holds it means left continuous means the limit of the left minus is same as that of the function like of this x approaches 0 minus of the function is nothing but my here so if this property holds it means this a left continuous so if you substitute here what is the value of this it's nothing but my 0 and that's the required proof of this the last property is that the set of the values of the discontinuous of the discontinuity of this is my countable the proof is a single one line proof we all knows that a function is my monotonic decreasing or increasing function and we all knows from the real analysis the set of the points of the discontinuity of every monotonic function is my countable hence f is also be the monotonic function so it's a countable r now let's say one or two examples check whether it is a distribution function or not so as i discuss in order to prove it's a distribution you have to satisfy these three properties so let's firstly discuss about here what is the f of infinity minus infinity so minus infinity lies here so the answer is zero the first satisfied what is the plus of infinity so plus infinity lies here if you substitute this value it will be my here so 1 minus 0 is 1 so the first property satisfied now how you can prove that it's a continuous function so as you can see that clearly says that f is a continuous everywhere for each x is non zero now you have to check that whether x approaches 0 minus is same as that of the 0 plus and same as that of the f of 0 so what is the f of 0 you can see 0 lies here e raised to power 0 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 what is the 0 minus limit if you look about that 0 minus lies in in this case so this value is also be 0 what is the limit 0 positive 0 positive lies here so if you substitute here it is again to be a 0 so since all are same it means it is also be a continuous at the origin hence it is continuous everywhere so it's a right continuous what is the first property it is a monotonically non decreasing how you prove is a non decreasing so if we start with the x is less than y clearly says that we need the e raised to power x is always be here we need the e raised to power minus x so what is that if you take the reciprocal it will be here now you can take the one minus the inequality will be again change so what is that this is nothing but my f of x this is my f of y that means it's a 
non decrease the last one is if you have the cdf of the x is given to you how you can find the P cdf of the y by the definition of the cdf this property is given to you now let g is the cdf of the y because f is already taken here i can substitute the value of the y here x plus a i can find the value of x from here so what is that if you compare this value with here what is the x x is nothing but my y minus a is the required so these are the simple cumulative distribution function and their respective properties so we will see in the next class how we can write the cdf and their respective examples till then you can simply like share and subscribe this video to your friends best of luck students happy learning